Definitely a hit. The revival of Merrily We Roll Along is wowing crowds and critics alike with an all-star cast that includes Broadway favorite Katie Rose Clark, who's with me now. Welcome, <laughs> Katie. Katie. Good to see you. So good to see you. I mean, what a hit this show is. Oh, um, my God. Let's start with the big news of the week. This surprise, uh, like, cast album drop, like, a la, a la, like, Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Oh, I know. Uh, did you even know it was happening? You must have known. Well, we were told, but not, like, hugely in advance. We were told last week that they were going to do this surprise midnight drop. So, which I never have tuned in for a surprise, you know, like, yeah. a Beyonce <laughs> drop or a Taylor Swift drop. So yeah, either do I. But I was pretty, like. Tune in for this one, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, I, did. I know. I didn't even think I would stay awake for it, but I sure enough. <laughs> I was just too excited. Did you have to keep it a secret? Like, did they say when you recorded it, don't let anyone know we're doing this? Or? Yeah, 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 we kept it under wraps. We did it pretty quickly after we opened. So it was kind of a, it was a quick turnaround. So we did kind of keep it mum for a long time. Cool to have that forever, too. But, you yes. know, in the show, you sing one of Sondheim's most famous songs, mm -hmm. uh, Not a Day Goes By. And you've gotten so many, so much praise for your take on it. Oh, thank you. What does it mean for you to be, be like, cemented? in like that and having that song be so well received. Well, I appreciate that. It feels surreal. I mean, I think if I if I really let myself consider how much pressure there is on that song, <laughs> I think I would freeze a little bit more. Yeah. But thankfully, our director was so great about giving me freedom and just kind of trusting myself with the material. So yeah. I've I've actually been able to release myself a little bit from that pressure, oh, which has nice. been good. <laughs> That's very healthy. That's yeah. a very healthy way of dealing with it. I'm releasing myself <laughs> from this pressure. For the most part. And you know, every night is different, thankfully. Yeah. And John Jonathan Groff is such an incredibly strong actor that yes. I just really can... I just adore him, yeah. too. Um, you play Beth, Frank's mm -hmm. first wife, and you see her kind of as this mom who will do anything it takes to protect her kids. Yeah. As a mom, I'm a mom, too. I have to yeah. imagine that you bring that with you every night. Yeah, for right? sure. I think becoming a mom fundamentally changes who you are anyway Absolutely. a little bit. And so I, I really can't separate myself from it in any in any area of my life now, but particularly I'm thankful that I get to play a mother in this yeah. show too. It's nice. And so I heard this and I'm still like, how is this possible that you auditioned nine months pregnant? There's not enough yeah. space for air in the I air know. to do that, right? <laughs> yeah, everything's kind of like shoved up into <sighs> your diaphragm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, I ended up I actually went in for my callback and I was in like early stages of labor, which was, I wasn't really supposed to go into labor with my third. They wanted me to get to the hospital. So I was timing was contractions. So she was my third. Yeah. So I, my husband and I, the night before my callback, we were timing contractions to make sure that I wasn't going to go into yeah. labor unexpectedly, but it held off. And then <laughs> two days after my callback, I, I had my baby. Oh my God. It was wild. That is wild. Well, we got to talk about Wicked because Wicked just celebrated its 20th anniversary, yes. which is amazing. I love that show. I do too. And you have um, you have the longest running. Uh, you have a record of uh, <laughs> yeah. being the longest running Glinda on Wicked. In Wicked, <laughs> like, what does yeah. that mean to you? I, had, I didn't realize that that was the case, honestly. You didn't realize that you were setting a record? No, not at all. I mean, I was just kind of going through, you know, con contracts and thanking God that I was a part of the show and that they, I had a really good relationship with that team. Yeah. And so I was thankful to just continue to be invited back. And um, I, it got me through a lot of my career, thank God. But I love that you're doing this show, Marilee, with Lindsay Mendez, yeah. who was one of your alphabuzz. Yes. Which is amazing. Thing. Almost like, exactly 10 years ago. Oh my God. Isn't that wild? Is it like a sisterhood, all of the yeah. Glindas and Alphabas that have been through that those doors? Yes, 100%. I always say it's kind of like a, the sorority that I was never a part of. Yes. Um, it's a much know, better sorority. It's pretty sweet. It's <laughs> pretty, you know, it's exclusive. It's, it's, it's nice. It's very exclusive. But yeah, all the Glindas, I feel like they're, there's a sisterhood. There's an yeah. understanding that we have with each other. And the Alphabas too. I mean, yeah. it's pretty special. Well, you are pretty special and you are amazing in everything you do. <laughs> you can catch Merrily We Roll Along playing at Broadway's Hudson Theater. Katie, thank you so much for stopping oh, by. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, anytime.